everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are fit and fine so today i'm going to fix this motherboard and this is a lenovo idea pad 110 laptop motherboard i already disassembled this laptop and this laptop problem is it's not turning on so let me show you the problem first okay this is a uh, motherboard model number nm-8841 so as soon as i connect my dc port supply to this motherboard as you can see it's uh, showing abnormal amps in my dc power supply so if i press this reset button also it's not turning on as you can see so first i will disconnect this cmos battery and this reset switch i will hold down for a few seconds for discharge this motherboard and now i will plug again and as you can see it's same it's not turning on but so first i will check some impedance or and voltage on this motherboard so at first i will check impedance i set my multimeter in beat mode and at first i will check in this dc jack so it's clear then i will check this current sense register here this also clear so now i will plug it again and i set my multimeter in dc mode So I have 19 volt present in DC jack and as you can see in this current sensor register we have only 17 volt and voltage it's not it's stable as you can see so in this case I will first check this three MOSFET one two this is the first MOSFET second MOSFET and this is third MOSFET so let me open this heat sink okay this mosfet is good get also clear this also good get also clear okay as you can see this mosfet getting beep both side get also showing items only this is a p channel mosfet so at first i will remove this mosfet check this mosfet again okay it's fully short as you can see this is a p channel mosfet so i will replace this mosfet from this donor board here it is this is also p channel mosfet So let's, let me check this MOSFET is okay or not. Okay, it's good. This is done. So 
so let's connect DC power supply again and now I will check this voltage okay it's 19 volt so uh, now in this current sensor register we have 19 volt present and uh, look at my power supply it's, it's stable now so now if I press this button here this turn on as you can see it's turn on power LED also glowing so we just found this e-channel MOSFET is short in battery switching MOSFET here as you can see so after I replace this MOSFET this motherboard is turn on now so now I will check if it is ok or not okay let's plug this again press the reset switch and it's done so as you can see it's turn on now so i hope you all are enjoyed this video if you like this video so please hit the subscribe button press the bell icon if you already subscribe my channel thank you so much and if you watch my video from my facebook page so please share my video comment and follow my page Thanks again.